Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I'm back with another Last Epoch video. I'm now showcasing the, well, second build that I've showcased, the third build I've played in this game. And so far, all of these builds have been completely, like, self-made. I've got a couple of, you know, hints from people in chat about things that might be good to do, uh, but uh, pretty much... Uh, they're kind of self-made and everything like that. And today we have a Primalist Beastmaster here for you. Uh, using, as you may have been uh, clickbaited by the title, we're using dual-wielding undisputed axes. Now this is a throwback from the devs or or kind of a uh, a nice little nod to Zizarin in the Path of Exile community who uh, had a pretty nice moment of crafting the undisputed best one-handed axe in the game at the time. Uh, which was, I can't remember the actual league. <gasps> oh! I might put it, you know, uh, on the screen here. I might not, depending on whether I forget or not. But basically, these axes are really amazing. You can dual wield them uh, by using the Primalist uh, class. So you can Harmony of Blades. You do take extra damage while dual wielding, but you can dual wield axes or swords, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and then specking into Beastmaster to get some things like Aspect of the Boar to make us really tanky, getting a lot of bleed chance, and Aspect of the... Uh, Shark to shred armor, uh, give a lot of melee attack damage, uh, basically uh, some crazy attack speed as well and everything like that, which is pretty nice. That's basically the build. The skill that we're using is called Swipe. It's basically just like this. You can see our attack speed's not amazing right now, but you'll be able to see soon that our attack speed's going to be pretty insane once we're in a zone uh, and uh, jumping through. So you know what? Let's go to the Monolith of Fate. Let's do one Monolith just to show you the build. Uh, and I'll just talk about a couple of things of the build as well here. Right now, we're only on 761 life, so we're a little bit squishy, uh, but we are only level 64 here. So we're going to be uh, getting a bunch more levels, uh, pushing this build a lot further. Now, you do also see here, we're a Beastmaster, so we have some wolves. Now, these wolves are primarily for support. They do a little bit of damage, but basically I can click a button to make these wolves and myself get affected by a buff, uh, which is uh, this button right here. Wait, which one is it? Hang on. This one, uh, and then uh, I get a, a ton of attack speed and attack damage and all that kind of stuff. And there's also a little tip uh, that I can give you guys. Anything that's instant cast in the game, you can actually use the numlock trick. So you can assign these, I've assigned this to uh, uh, number 7 and number 4. You hold them down and then you hit numlock and they auto cast every time they're available. The devs have said this is totally fine as well, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, so, let's jump into a ruined city here and let's have a good uh, a good look at the build. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice that they did a nice throwback to uh, to that amazing Azizarin moment, uh, which is pretty cool. But as you can see here, basically we jump into the map, we war cry to give ourselves uh, knockback on the enemies and big buffs. Then we can also put down a pretty nice totem on the ground to give us more damage if we do need it against like harder rares or uh, unique bosses in maps. Um, now the big thing about this build is the only movement skill that uh, Primalist Beastmaster gets is a type of leap slam, uh, and it's really slow and has a, a seven second cooldown, and there's no real amazing way to make that cooldown a lot shorter. So unfortunately, what we're just gonna be doing on this build is just stacking move speed, trying to get as much move speed as we can, just to zip around the map. Uh, and you can see this tornado around us is another thing that's auto cast. That's basically cast on top of us, giving us attack and move speed, uh, and attack damage as well, which is super, super, super nice. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the build. As you can see here, we just kind of zoom through. We can even leave packs uh, just bleeding in the background if we want to. We can just kind of uh, leave them there. And uh, yeah, so we'll get to a boss uh, here. A little bit more damage probably needed against this guy. So 
start to stack up the attack speed and everything like that, as you can see. And uh, we end up shredding a ton of damage on enemies, which is pretty cool. That was the whole echo there, so we can jump on out. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to include the, uh, the uh, basically, overview of the build down below. It'll uh, link you to a website that kind of... It's like a PoE planner or POB, but it's uh, online and everything like that, which is pretty cool. It's like an epoch planner. Uh, that's the build. Is there anything else I really need to talk uh, about this build? As I said, yeah, level 64, so our reses aren't amazing just yet. We need to cap our lightning and physical and get our other reses up. And then we're just going to be looking at stacking as much bleed chance as we possibly can. Uh, so the more bleed chance, this is another really cool thing, the more uh, chance of an ailment you have, if you're overcapped, it actually means that right now I have a 100% chance to apply one stack of bleed, and then a 1% chance, the extra 1% after 100, to apply a second stack. So if I had 200%, I would be applying two stacks every hit, which is really, really nice. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy this last Epoch content, then definitely let me know in the comments below what kind of builds you want to see next or anything like that. You want me to try out a new uh, character? I'm going to do some sort of Ignite next, I think. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much all I do have to say. If you've been wanting to purchase the game, there is also a link to my Nexus store down below. You can purchase the game as well as support me monetarily all in a couple of clicks. Uh, that gives you access to the, the early access to Last Epoch, but that also means you get the full game when it comes out, and all of the updates coming from that point will be free as well. Uh, so it's kind of a games of, as a service uh, type of situation there. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have enjoyed the game or are enjoying the content, and uh, I'll catch you guys around. See you later. Until next time, Badger out.